All right, so once you get all of your photos edited the way you want to, you're going to make a collage. And you can choose any of your photos to put into your collage. I'm not requiring a certain number or anything like that. I just want you to play with the utility. So I'm going to take my last four pictures, the ones of people that are kind of edited and people are demonstrating my cues. Just finish editing this last one. There we go, that's better. All right, so I'm going to take these last four cue pictures and put them into a collage. So what I do to select them is just click on the first one, and then if they're all in a row, I just shift click to get all of them. Uh, if I wanted to kind of pick and choose, then I'd use control and click on each one, and that would allow me to select just kind of random photos in my library, okay? All right, so then I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and you'll see some very nice little tools down here. You can geotag all of your pictures. Uh, this is a few weeks ago where people took pictures and then geotagged them by their location, and then you can go to the map and see pictures of that location. So that's what geotagging is about. Two. Um, you can send them to a file, print, etc., etc. So we're going to make a collage. And up here to the left, you'll see look all old timey. Anybody remember these cameras? They're pretty darn awesome. We'll leave her there. Okay, so you can make a picture pile. You can do a mosaic, like that one. You can do um, a grid, all like Brady Bunch style. You can do multiple exposures. So for those of us who remember the early 90s and our affinity for glamour shots. Okay. And then you're going to select all of There's both the original and the edited versions. Okay. And your collage. Oh, I can't do both at the same time. Well, that's annoying. Okay. We'll grab it later. Uh, and we're going to upload them into 